watching sister please uh my guest today is a very old friend but also someone very cool mina malik <laughs> is on the show today um so i've known mina for almost 20 years and we just met last year <laughs> physically we know everything about each other's lives about what the ups and downs in our lives are we keep track of each other's social medias we engage <laughs> we interact we we all up in each other's lives but yes. we had never physically met until last year and i don't know there's really no science to that like i don't know why we didn't meet but before this podcast i actually had to message mina and be like what is your professional bio mina <laughs> what do you do what do you actually do like i know you read books a lot but what do you actually do so i had to write it down because i like mina in a professional capacity is something i would have to like do a ratta for so <laughs> such an alien concept and such an alien concept. so mina is co-founder of risala magazine which is a literary uh, magazine for kids then she is a prose editor at the alif review and she's a host of kahani corner a story program for kids is that on mm edit yes it is okay i've seen that it's it's very cute you have to check it out if you have kids Um, or if you don't you just like stories or if you just like stories <laughs> yes okay so apart apart from that while you were telling me your whole bio hmm. there's something else you added that you are like a full time bigum <laughs> <laughs> where is that coming from explain see, that to me you see i think about this a lot right and um like to me the the modern begums are hub like you know you think of begums i think of like a grandmother yeah. or some really glamorous great aunt yeah. and you're like wow you know it's somebody who's just sort of you know with that cigarette in her holder and you're wearing some big ass <laughs> diamonds and you're just and like, talking in a deep voice huh, beta and you're giving instructions and everyone minions are scurrying around and you know begum so i feel like that we don't have that anymore yeah right but at the same time you're still running a full household mm. you're still running after bachas you're still organizing khanas you're entertaining you're you know you're getting tayar you're doing all of these things right but yeah. i feel like for our generation yeah. the kind of idea of the begum has changed although i feel like we've carried um, a lot of those expectations into this generation but like and you mentioned this whole like you mentioned it right now this whole list it sounds like you have it together <laughs> or you've kind of figured it out but have you really you know it's like it's okay to tell me like where you royally messed you know, up i feel like and you know the hallmark of the of the good begum sahab yeah and and the competent begum sahab the competent lady of the house of the maid of the manor is that you don't see effort right things just happen खाना लग जाता है खाना लग जाता है टी की ना चाय की ट्रॉली यूं करके आती है एंड ऑल द नैपकिन आर सेट एंड द चमचीज आर पॉलिश्ड एंड एवरीथिंग इज डन बट इट्स आर मेड हां बट यू नो इट्स लाइक अ डक राइट के ऊपर से यू जस्ट काइंड ऑफ ग्लाइडिंग एंड नीचे से द द फीट ओ आई लव दैट एनालॉजी यस यस यू आर पैडलिंग फ्यूरियसली बट यू आर ग्लाइडिंग ओवर आई फील लाइक दैट्स द परफेक्ट एनालॉजी फॉर लाइक मोस्ट वुमेन इजंट इट लाइक and and this was the whole premise of this podcast where i was just like we're constantly under pressure to be like yes i, I it's all figured out yeah, yeah, i was telling someone i was like you know ghar pe khana paka hua hai the beds are made the children are polite yes. um and everything and is perfect and you don't know that you know i showed up to this podcast and i like do ghuse laga ke i was like just going out for a little while but like don't is that be- yeah but mm. is is that something you sort of sometimes have to perform I think yes, all the time. Yeah. And And so I said, I again, I think that this is one of those things that it's you're part of a of an incredibly kind of complex system. Hmm. And I think that this goes for all of us, you know, married or not, kids or not. Yeah. Is that there is this expectation that I don't know how it is for men. Maybe it's different for men. It takes a different form. So I can only speak as a woman. But I do think that there is this um, idea that. the product should be perfect and nobody should know how it happened yeah you know? yeah you know like if you made a cake everybody wants to eat the cake but they're not interested in how many eggs you broke and you trashed your kitchen and was it really hot and did you have to like you know do it all over again because you dropped something they want to know they just want to eat the cake and like just off this and just off the whole hame kitna karna padta hai and like how we it still has to look like we're in control i basically thought of it as like When I was thinking of this podcast, I was like, I do I want to do a podcast because do I listen to podcasts? 
do i have the time <laughs> in my day to listen yeah. to like a 2 hour podcast because yeah. there's so Isn't much going on it's long no, it's, not. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 20 minutes long <laughs> because we are making this palatable <laughs> i understand the woman experience ke 20 minute bhi baith ke agar hum ye sun lenge yeah. so that's like a big deal so this was this was very insightfully put together yes, yes, it's not to i bro it's not okay so that's that's that was the problem that's why i was like it has to be keeping in mind the woman experience that no one's going to sit here for 2 hours also like no. this is so like ain't no one got time for that i can't can do 2 hours i have to be somewhere no, i have to go home yes. and i have to go feed my pets Yeah, exactly. Those are the babies, yeah, though. Those, those are the babies. Those that's are my the baby. That's my zimmedari. No one else is going to do it, and no one's asking you. Like when they come to visit and they like play with your animals, your babies. Sorry, um, they're not going to be asking you. Okay, oh, you know, how many blankets do you have to put out, and this yeah. huge effort that you have to make, and then three have to be in one room, and five have to be in the other room, and flan wo wala khana nahi khata. How oh, did you know that? Oh my god. Yes. Like nobody gets that the import yeah. ban has really affected pet owners, and yeah, I scramble no. all over the city looking for the brand my cats yes, eat because, because then they don't because they're jerks. They do, like yeah. nobody realizes. But then everyone jerks. will come and pet your fluffy billies, but yeah. you know, end product. Like no one's looking at the mom who has. But you see, like, this is something I think about a lot, right? And I think that this also happens. Like you know, when I see ads for like cooking oil, for example, yeah. you know. It's so sanitized, and everybody has like everyone's obsessed with this this idea that moms love being moms, mm. and every they love making your shami kebabs and falana banas for tea, and it's just so fulfilling and wonderful and magnificent. But like you oh, go lovely, into your lovely. kitchen and your mom's like, "Koi mujhe appreciate hi nahi karta, nahi karta, na koi madad karta, khane ke liye sab aa jayega." That's the thing. Like those things, nobody's looking at no. those things because that means you actually have to engage in a meaningful way. and in a mindful way and acknowledge the amount of labor yes that women are putting into running a household but you're socially and and culturally you're also told that the efficient and competent woman a is successful and b if people find out that you are struggling then you fail somehow but like when did this happen like i i feel it's patriarchy. It's patriarchy but like <laughs> i feel like as a millennial i feel like Because I see Gen Z not falling for this. Yes. Gen Z is like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not feeling yeah. it. And the vibe is off. Yeah. And I'm just like, how did they know? And how did we, the millennials, get sucked into like, I can do a full time job. I can put in overtime. I can go home. I can cook the food. I can yes. put the kids to bed. Yes. I can do all this and still be like employee of the month. Why? Why because, do I need to do this? Because I think we inherited this from our boomer parents. Because you know this is the thing. But now. why can't I unlearn it by watching the Gen Z people? Like now can, I'm just like, oh my god, the they're just not like working it. hard enough. Oh, I, I have caught, I have caught myself. I have right? Caught myself, yeah. like sometimes the work ethic. Because sometimes the kids are. Sometimes like, how will you be smart if you don't read? And how is it? Yeah. How but, and how is this yeah. profession? How will you succeed in life? But they're succeeding in life with, I mean, <laughs> zero exhaustion. And they're exhausted. I think we're all, again now. It's like so. We just have to stop pretending that we're not tired. It's okay to be tired, yeah, and it's okay that you know sometimes we get stopped for bath every single night. It's fine. I'm on a podcast saying this. It's okay. It's Nothing on the record. It's gonna it's happen. It's on the record. But like Minas, nothing will happen. How? And it's really funny because I'm interrupting you because no, now I'm so box on a roll now. Do it. Do it. Do it. I know, but. There's and in myself I see such a big difference from the mom I was when I had my eldest to the mom I am now with my youngest. So my youngest and my eldest are, are six years apart. Right. So with with Karunesa, you should have seen like birthday party and like school jodi bag jata tha and it was just a work of art. And you cooked right? everything and I yourself. I did it and yeah yeah. Meal prep, crack, the crafty thing, no. brownie the brownies <laughs> and like everything. Oh my god, her cheese, her cheese, amazing, like top notch. And I with my youngest, I'm just like sometimes like dust you, it off. And eat sometimes it. you don't have all the art supplies. Yeah, you can share it. In five second rule, can't look up. Just dust it's it okay. off. Okay, like it, it, it's fine. Like we don't have to celebrate your birthday on the weekend. We can do it like two days later also. He was stuck there, but yeah. it's funny because when I see these moms, jinka unke firstborns hai, mera youngest hai, and I really call like call myself like a hardened criminal mother now. Because <laughs> I'm just like, you know, sisters, uh, you don't have to do that. Yeah, it, it's not necessary. Look at me. How and a lot of the moms are just horrified because they're just like, yeah, and like you. Don't, you don't need to. But like, how did you manage to? <laughs> how, yeah, how did you ma- manage to sort of 
do the four kids thing and then also do your masters at Oxford mashallah mm-hmm. and then yeah. also become this editor and now you're working on your first novel okay. like you sent me that and i was like what <laughs> but you see i'm working on my first novel after uh, probably 10 years after my peers wrote their first mm. novels mm. so that's tough it's tough because you see your friends and, and your peers and people you admire and and you all started together and you you haven't everybody's of course everybody's journey is different you know everybody's journey is different yeah, look at this. So i mean i can say that ab bachche bade ho gaye hain so you know it becomes easier which is true which is true i mean it's fine <laughs> i'm i'm, I'm going to get into it after this break okay so but like the fact that you're now writing your novel and mm. everybody else did it 10 years ago yeah. i've really had to sort of make myself understand that yes everyone has their own timelines mm. and while everyone was sort of starting their own businesses or achieving all these milestones i was hustling away at this 9 to 5 job because i yeah. was not ready to go solo mm-hmm. or i didn't feel like i was ready and yeah. now i'm doing something that like 25 year old kids are doing look at you I, <laughs> but and i'm and i'm and you know i've come to terms with it that this yeah. is my, this is my timeline yes. and and i started 23 2023 by thinking that ab main i'm i'm going to stop looking at other people and their timelines mm-hmm. and how like they did this 10 years yeah. ago and i'm just like now catching up And again, the idea of catching up yes. also. Yes. Yes. Who decided that this was the timeline, and now you are late? No one is late. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Just, I mean, I, I literally said I don't. It. See, that's yeah. the thing. Where, like, how do we unlearn this? कि मैं अगर अपने twenties में मैंने एक चीज नहीं की थी, it's okay. अगर मैं अपने thirties में जाके या late thirties में जाके जो भी करके, it's okay. It's Maybe okay. now yes. is when I will do it better. It but you also didn't unlearning. do it but you also didn't do your masters in one stretch no what i did was that i didn't shaadi mein nikal li shaadi kar li shaadi mein nikal li then i was like but i always wanted to study i wanted to study more and again people are like shaadi ke baad kar lena nice do everything that is a conspiracy that is a conspiracy mm-hmm. honestly the thing is you can do it you just have to work four times harder than everybody else in your cohort so then i did i didn't am filled with uh, two toddlers And then I got pregnant again. Yes. <laughs> In the middle of that infill. Oh my god, no. Yeah. And so then I was just basically like the the pregnant woman on campus. Oh wow. <laughs> then I wrote my thesis 8 months pregnant and you know had a viva then gave birth. You know, so as one does. <laughs> as one does. As one does and then I did the second one uh, last year. But you can do all the things just have to work bloody hard. That's true. And and I don't know. I think structurally we still have a long ways to go. But like, was there any order. judgment over this along the way from like your maybe your peers or your family or friends? No, or I must anyone? say everybody's incredibly supportive. Yeah, you know it's great. Allah ka shukar. Like you know you can do this. Yeah, you can do this. Like sure you can do this. Yeah. But it's also like you know again this is like those martiality thing, na? Right? Yeah. What are the structures? You know how are how are we institutionally looking at? expanding spaces for people who want to go back to school who want to go back to work who have kids it's not read somewhere na ki this is like this capitalist thing that we expect uh women to work like they don't have a family and yes. to be a part of their families like they have no work yes so then ye kya baat to hui again it's again it's not wanting to acknowledge the furious paddling of the of the duck feet but also and this you know and i also feel like this whole experience of sort of studying after getting married and maybe while having kids and i you know you you were one of the lucky ones yeah. and because so many girls have their sort of aspirations and wo khwab unko dabaa diya jata hai ki shaadi ke baad karna and which is the i i've always felt like it's the worst thing parents can do the, to their daughters mm. because you yourself do not know where you're handing off your daughters and you don't know what it's going to be like afterwards and if they cannot live their life within the safety mm. of your your home and your love how do you know someone else is going to make those dreams come true yeah. for them but i also feel like these are conversations that women need to have with their partners or potential partners when they never you do. have to think about it for yourself yeah. and maine to nikabhi socha tha actually yeah. at like 23 24 like what are what are my five what are my five year plan what are my 10 year plan to have a plan hmm. it wasn't really a plan yeah so one kind of gets thrust into things and you just do them yeah. but maybe if there was a clearer plan 
then you can kind of sit down and discuss this with your partner and be like these are my expectations how are we going to be when we have kids what are we going to do about you know division of labor blah 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 because it's not enough na ki aapko ijazat mil gayi ya aapko roka nahi kisi ne theek hai kisi ne nahi roka but at the same time you didn't have like do you have actual support on the ground Yeah. कोई आपको पढ़ाई करने से रोक तो नहीं रहा बट आर दे गोइंग टू पिक अप फ्रॉम स्कूल फॉर यू आर दे गोइंग टू डू बेट टाइम Or rely on the labor of other women, like your mom or your sas or your nanny or some other woman. Well, right? it's it, and it's so. I mean, it always has to be the women who have to come through for us. Is that? It's not necessary, but it is somehow that the cookie crumbles. I think right now and in patriarchy. I mean, like you know, the the objective is for men to also watch this podcast because yes, I, I I please I, watch it. Please watch it because please listen because these are, these these aren't a us versus them conversations. No. Yeah. These are conversations where you know listen to our experience because it'll just make us better allies for each other. Yeah, and, you, and what are you doing? You're creating a better family structures. You're, yeah. You're you are modeling behavior for your sons and your daughters. Yes. You're creating like a fam. You're creating a team. Yeah. Then you're a team, yeah. and teams work better than like not non teams where yeah. the opposite of teamwork is. Yeah. Not teams. Not not teams. <laughs> not teams and cooperation. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, how? Did, can we talk about our blogger girls group? Yes, please. Like, <laughs> where, how how is this group of friends? How mm. is this group of women who met virtually twenty years ago? Yes. Still on a WhatsApp chat, <laughs> sending each other funny videos and like making movie plans. How did that happen? Like, there's this whole narrative that like women cannot be like they cannot sustain friendships or aurat aurat ki dushman hoti hai, ye hota hai, wo hota hai. And I hate listening to that because all of my friendships are very long lasting. And it is, and, and I, I, mean, I will come back to how like it was women who finally kicked my butt into actually doing mm, this yeah. and being like, you know, just. Taking away all your excuses, yeah. just put the product in, putting them in the trash. Because now, put your money where your mouth is. Yes. Like, how are we? Like, what is happening? I don't know, man. I just I can't speak for men. <laughs> I can't. But I do feel like it's tough. It's tough for men. I don't know if they have the kind of like the the, the deep, sustained. space that women can hold for other women if we can hold emotional space for each other we can hold physical space for each other i don't know if dudes have that kind of bonding i'm not sure i, I don't want to presume but i also feel like but i know that women i also do. feel like their friendships maybe last longer because they don't dive that deep into like you made me feel like this yeah you know i was very hurt by what you said that day huh. and women do that we're going to show up and be like i'm But that's but that's what the save me. I did not expect to get out of the car that day. Oh, so now we're just supposed to come out. That's why I was just wearing the ghalki kapde, and my stupid sister did not come out at the appointed time <gasps> because you had to just come out now. Yeah, there was no the phone. phone anyway. And you had to miss it. Okay, jao under the ghalki sahan kholeyo, and Khisra she uh, made me get out of the car. And Zook, you know, at Saturday lunch was basically Zook was like the hot restaurant, and Saturday lunch was all the hot kids went to eat lunch. And food and Zook and Laura was like a big deal when we were like teenagers, like super duper big deal. And all outside of Zook, they have a little like a balcony. And all the steps. cute boys stood all there. The hotties were outside Zook on that little balcony of theirs, and I had to walk through fifty of Laura's hotties. Hmm. Saturday lunch. In my Trauma. Gutna length. Big fucking ass T-shirt <laughs> and get my bloody sister <laughs> who was not even in a corner or something in the middle of zoo in the middle part and I'm just like this corner. Did we record this? Twenty years old to ho gaye hain. Is baaki ye ko? I just was like. We never actually got to sort of capitalize on on all those hotties. वो सब उन्होंने मुझे उस टीशर्ट में जो देख लिया तो उसके मेरा वॉटर भी ये था मेरा वॉटर भी ये था I was also the not rich kid in Lahore. Yeah. Okay, but Mina, tell me something. You have this whole like very. Are we rolling now? We're rolling. No, we were rolling पहले भी अंदर यार गॉसिप सेशन. We can turn that into like. Oh my God! Don't you dare! She's a shizu story. You have story. You are going to cock block me. Dobara Saint Laurent. 
that Zook story. Don't you dare! It's that iconic. Came it's it's iconic. It it's it's going to bring back so many memories for everybody. No, because nobody had to do this except for me. Listen, I confess that my wardrobe was also like my mom's. You were in Zook having lunch. I had to go and give my sister. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that one time. Okay. Okay. So. Hmm. <laughs> I'm using that story. I'm using that story. Daya kill you. Okay, Mina, you Thanks. have a very distinctive personality. I, you, it, Thank it's you. like it's not obviously you're living that experience, so you don't care. But like this whole persona <laughs> of like just sort of getting into any situation with this, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> experience like you walk into something that. Yes, I and genuinely then, find things quite exciting. I think, and and I love that, but like also like you. It's not normal for someone in a, <laughs> to what? आप रोज़ साड़ी पहनती हैं, obviously. भी कोशिश होती है कि हर रोज़ पहनने के लिए हर रोज़ नहीं होता. Or like muted colors नहीं होते. It's got like I'm I you're short of having a साड़ी that has Mickey Mouse on it. You I've seen you wearing some really great prints. And then like the yellow eyeliner you have on right now, and this is like a regular like regular Friday afternoon for you. This is true. It this is, is true. like right. Yeah. Like how it's. It's a very mm-hmm. conscious decision to not care what everyone, what kind of normal clothing everyone else is wearing. It to be like this is my vibe. How yeah. like obviously, शुरू में जब किया था people would be like you're wearing sarees every day, मतलब overdressed. I think dressing. I've always been like this. Like my pictures of me when I was like seven, eight, I was wearing some big ass plastic bantas and like you know like <laughs> you know not this but you know. I think you've been now. You've been shopping since day one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's been I think pretty consistent that way. And also like while you're this literary person mm. and you're like an you know co-founder of an editorial yeah. and Oxford yeah. graduate and stuff like <laughs> it, you don't have to sort of sit people down and be like okay this is how I am but like you're going to take me seriously. Was it does that ever been a situation? Yeah. Yeah. Often. Like yes. what what was like one? I don't know. People do think that, you know, if you're generally cheerful and, you know, have a ring bringy nail polish then that they can walk all over you. Yeah, so that you know you're not a serious person. And then what happens then does like that you know about. <laughs> tell like tell know, me what that would be. I don't know. I think it would depend like maybe a conversation if we're in a work situation and you just kind of show up to work and yeah. you know, show sure, you're wearing a chumkeeli chappal but you yeah. can, you know, whack out a report. Three hours. Yeah, you can do it. Or a novel come ready with that. Are you able to? It's slow. Whack out that novel anytime soon. I mm, hope this is this year will be my year. Inshallah, my agent. Sorry, Lori. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Are we allowed to ask me. what it's about? <laughs> well, tell to me. Tell to you. <laughs> you know when you when I want when you condense it. Do you want the sexy version or like the I elevator? Sexy, I want the sexy version. Okay. So it's an homage to Khadija Masood's Angan. Okay. So it's um, well, it's in English, but it's using the same trope as Angan does about centering all the activity around the the center of the home, the courtyard. Mm. So the action is all centered around the house, and it's about a family of you know mostly women who live in Gulbarg. Between so the the action goes from the 90s to the present, and it's a deeply Zanani kahani about deeply female issues. And uh, yeah, that sounds awesome. It's, it's a woman writing for other women. Oh my god, I love that. And like once it launches, Family you'll drama. you'll come back and like do a little reading of it. Yes, I would love to. One sister please. Was done cuz it's like all about it. Done. Exactly. Got it here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're very excited about it. And what I'm really excited of actually also is that it's like unabashedly fem- feminine energy. Yeah. Around that book. So it's something that, you know, um I don't know. I don't I don't aspire to be some great like tall story person. Know, but you, you don't mind but, if you <laughs> No, yeah, but you know, know I hope that it's something that is um, that speaks to people, yeah, and um, you know, is a little kufurat also. But do you feel like you also wanted to be translated in like Urdu for like the readership to be. For, I would love that. That for, would like be other a- women to actually be able to read it and. Feel seen. I would love that. Like like, really, like our mother's really generation, that. and like I know my mother would not read an Urdu English book. She'd read an Urdu yeah. risala or a novel like Khawatim yeah. Digest yeah. and all those risalas from yeah. that time. I you know, if something like that could be translated into Urdu, that would be amazing. I would love that. I right? would really love that, and I hope that that's something that could happen. Because I feel like our, that generation of women misses out on so much content because now everything is you know. Yeah. English and very like refined and this is true and also that I we aren't really looking at translation as much as we should yeah. be. There's literally like three people doing kind of serious translation work and yeah. there's so much. So you know, translators call me. 
<laughs> Meena, do you think women need to have it all, or should women should have it all, or, or that women can have it all? Like, and do we need to even pander to that expectation? Oh, you know, it's so it's just bollocks, isn't it? I think this whole idea of having it all is just utter rubbish. And what is all? I'm mean, how greedy and capitalist also, you know? Have it all. Like, oh no, I can have two things and be happy too. Like, if someone doesn't want to do a job and someone just wants to sit at home and live their life and raise their children and yeah, and I feel like this is the great scam of the patriarchy for men and women is that it's boxing everybody into these, you know, little cut, little dabbas. And everyone's sort of know? looking down on the other person. And again, you know, going back to like systematic and institutional issues is this that instead of making workspaces flexible for men and women so that families can participate in the work, you know, whatever it is, what is the workforce, workforce. for men and women to participate in yeah. the workforce equally, yeah. we're not, where we're expecting women to work and go home and still working women still do the lion's share of domestic work at home yeah all yeah. over the world so yeah. statistically it's not like you oh pakistani men don't help in at, the, at home but you know norwegians do it's not true statistically men don't help out at home yeah. as much as, as as women do and that's not fair and then we're like where are we this is not equal and this is an institutional problem and it's exhausting and again like you're saying like if men some men are really good dads and yeah. maybe not so adept in an office space. But also I've seen that women can go out and do that and dads stay home with kids. But Mina, I've seen that sometimes if I have a friend who's married and who lives abroad and she'll like come back home with her husband and they're in Lahore, the husband will get a lot of flack for like being a good husband. Oh yeah, the like very ha- like if he's very ha- you know? if he's very hands on with the kids yeah. and if he's like very like you know do you want to do this mm-hmm. if he's like mm-hmm. collaborative and, yeah and teamwork he's he's getting made fun of like yeah that sucks like why is that still happening in twenty twenty three because we we haven't evolved enough or have more of these conversations now around healthy masculinity and, 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 and sort of healthy ways to participate in a family. It's not, it sucks for men too. Like you want to participate, you want to look after your kids, you want to be a responsible dad, you want to But then you're not mad enough. Yeah, but you don't want to be told that you're doing your work and you're you know, you're True. like whipped. Like, no, you're not. Yeah. Your partners. You're a man in the in 2023. Yeah, your partners. And yeah, it's about time. If partners are equal and it's good, good for them. Honestly, yeah, why not? And again, it goes back to that whole thing about paddling furiously. That you have to like as women, you have to juggle like 10 million balls. And like, I'm, I and always I'm, joke and I'm, about and I'm this. I'm so sick of that. Why we need to look like we're in control, or why we need to look like. Yeah. Uh, I think it's also a question of vulnerability. So for us to kind of say that you know I'm struggling or that this is really hard, or I can't do this. Yeah. We have to be okay with being vulnerable yeah. and being able to accept that we have limits and that we can't keep crossing our own limits and our own boundaries all the time. It doesn't make us good women. It doesn't make us better women. It doesn't make us successful women. It's it just okay makes to us not exhausted be women. It's literally okay to be who not are perfect. depleted. Yeah. And then you can't, how can you show up yeah. properly for anybody else if you're not showing up for yourself? 100%. Okay, Mina, thank you so much thank for you, being baby. on this show. Like, this is so much fun. It's the buzzer, yeah? <laughs> this was my first episode and I really wanted to be it, for it to be with someone who I was comfortable with and none of my best friends would agree to be on the first episode. They were like, no. <laughs> Not on the first episode. <laughs> you you only had to like import somebody from another city. I just had to fly someone in from another city to be my first <laughs> guest, but I'm so glad it was you, Mina. It's I'm so song. happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This, it honestly makes my podcast seem more serious now. <laughs> Having like a literary person <laughs> on my show. But like, I just kind of laugh most of the time. But you know, I know, but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Next time we will have another amazing woman who is also okay with not being perfect. Bye.